All right, guys, I'm here at Walmart in Wachula with Fred with Paleo Discoveries, and we're going out for our second adventure with Paleo Discoveries. Last time I found that awesome Megalodon tooth, and this time we're gonna see what we're gonna find. Hopefully we're gonna go to, a, or actually we're gonna go to a different location, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more uh, fruitful, and we can get even more mags and more shark teeth in general, and more crazy, crazy fossils. So stay tuned to see what's next. What are you guys thinking of your Jaws jars? I'm ready, so to, smart. I'm ready to find what? some cool stuff. <laughs> It is, it's a brilliant idea. I awesome. actually, I love it. Stoked, great. Ready to fill it up. Sweet. <laughs> All right guys, I've been swimming around looking for shark's teeth for a few hours now. I can't really film everybody, but there they are. They're all having a great, grand old time over there. They found a really amazing mastodon tooth. Hopefully I can get a shot of that later on when uh, everybody's all dry. Barry found a really nice megalodon. I'm finding some nice uh, tiger sharks and lots and lots of dugong bones, so. Uh, I'm just gonna keep swimming around and keep finding stuff. Sorry, there's not gonna be a whole lot of scenery, guys. But this is what it looks like out here. That's it. We got a bunch of boats. We got a river. We got a bunch of trees, and we got a bunch of water. So we go under the water and we find stuff. Uh, and other people just sifting, finding plenty of good stuff too. Lots of good teeth coming up. A couple of megs have been found today, so it's it's a good it's a good group. And we're finding some really amazing stuff. What a day! I'm exhausted. Lots of swimming. Lots of sifting. There's Boneyard Barry. He found the best mega of the day. What a guy, we'll get a shot of that later. And now we're gonna paddle back over this beautiful river and beautiful Florida nature scenery. Let's see if we can't find some more cool stuff. Well, we're not gonna look for more cool stuff. We're just gonna try and get back alive so we can go to bed and eat dinner and stuff like that. That'll be nice. All right. Here's what we got. Sweet. Dude. My best. Are you kidding me? My best meg tooth ever. A perfect Root. megalodon tooth. Like in the first 20 minutes of the day, too. That's how it happens, either right at the beginning or right at the end. How sick is that, man? I'll have to get that one wrapped for you, too, if you like the other wraps I did for you. Oh, yeah. That's a killer one. Nice. Great job, Barry. Yeah. Woo. Thank you. Thank you, Shark Tooth Gods, and thank you for not letting that lady go off the edge. Yeah. It's a rental car. I said, let's just, let's just drive it off. Oh, it's a rental? Yeah, let's drive it off. Drive it off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys have been digging with Fred for 20 years and you found this beautiful yes, mastodon nearly tooth. nearly 20 years. I mean, just insane. Look at the condition on this thing. It's only like, what, 20-something million years old or whatever. Freaking awesome, guys. What a great find. Find of a lifetime right there. That's going to sit on your shelf forever, huh? You bet. Awesome. Hey, have a good one. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back at the trailer, back at the campground, and I'm going to show you what I found. All right, so one really cool thing you're gonna find a lot of is turtle bone. That's a fairly common thing. You'll notice that they're flat a lot of the times. Um, the flatness really gives them away. Uh, a little bit of uh, texture and pattern like that kind of gives them away. Um, you can see how flat this one is, and that is the edge piece of the shell. That might have been near the front of the back, judging by this little thing. That's kind of cool. So yeah, there's a lot of turtle shell here. I'm not really sure what these bones are, this one is a vertebrae it's it's a it's not in good condition but it is a vertebrae and i'm sure of what i am not sure i have no idea um these are some more cool bones that i i couldn't identify i don't know if you guys like random bones but um definitely comment in 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 the comments about what you think they are you know mammoth mastodon megasloth glyptodon giant armadillo what, what do you think these ones right here, pretty sure I know what these are. Uh, these are dugong rib bones. This is the big one that I found today. I think that's cool. I'm probably gonna toss most of this stuff back just cause I don't need it. I don't need it. So someone else can find it and that'll be cool and I'll pick one or two for myself or whatever it is. Um, here's a bunch of the smalls. Let's look at the smalls that I was putting into my jaws jars. These things are so handy. I had one clip to my necklace. I had, one, I had two clip to my pocket. And I gave them to I gave some to some other people, and they enjoyed them as well. Um, whenever you're out there, guys, you're gonna find some garbage. Um, go ahead and bring some garbage back with you guys, um, because the only way to reverse the cycle of of all the garbage that's in nature, guys, we can go out there and and people are gonna litter and people are gonna lose trash and trash is just gonna end up places. But if we don't take any of it back, then then it's just gonna continue to pile up. But if everyone who's out adventuring and searching for all this stuff finds a little bit, a few cans and a couple pieces of glass and just brings that back then we can actually get ahead on cleaning the river instead of people just going out all the time enjoying it and not um, taking the time to kind of clean so that's kind of the message that i want to talk about uh, uh, just just in this video real quick i don't need to talk about it more but um yeah that's that's what's been going on there so make sure to pick up some garbage um 
I don't know what that is. I found it in my pocket just now. Neat. I'm gonna put that with the other bones. All right, so here's some teeth. These are the more busted ones. Yeah, pretty busted. Pretty busted. Some nice, some interesting hemis, lemons, stuff like that. Um, here's some. Here's a nice brag of what would have been a cool megalodon. There's a megalodon right there. It's pretty busted up. That could have been a posterior megalodon, and, and maybe this, but those are so chewed up, it's hard to tell what they would have been. I think this one was one of these. That one's in better condition. These are the teeth that were in better condition. That's a, I think it's a, a dusky shark, but that's just a guess. Correct me in the comments, guys. I'm probably butchering a lot of this stuff. I think I got about a dozen lemon sharks. Um, pretty close. I got the micros here and the minis as well. I was using the big sifter mostly to get these. Um, now guys, there would be a lot more teeth here, but I spent a lot of time just swimming around picking this stuff up. Um, the other people that were there were just kind of throwing these out. They weren't collecting them because they already had too much and I'm probably gonna throw most of it back too. But I wanted to show you guys how common the dugong bone is and how much of it you can get. Um, there's no reason to get that much of it. The mosquito just stung me on my hand while I was filming. That's not right. Uh, so yeah, there's mosquitoes. Um, these are the stingray mouth plates. These are kind of cool. These are the stingray stingers. There's two of those. And this is a piece of a mammoth tooth, I guess. So how cool is that? Yeah, it's nothing like that really super awesome one that those other guys found, but it's it's definitely a frag of a gigantic uh, elephant-like critter from a long time ago, from the Ice Age. I know, uh, in the, a second ago, I said that the that big tooth that I was showing you guys was like millions of years old. It's probably more like 10,000 years old, 12,000 years old. It's more Ice Age fossil, so, so man hunting those critters probably put them out of business. Um, so I, I apologize for the inaccuracy, but the, the shark teeth are, are, can be millions of years old because this is when, um, you know, Florida was underwater before the Ice Age and stuff like that. Um, so those can be uh, very, very old. Um, so yeah. All right, so that was the Peace River, second excursion with uh, Paleo Discoveries. Guys, make sure to check out that other video. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this, and you know, check out some more content because we're gonna have some Graves Mountain footage coming up. Amazing public dig and rock swap at Graves Mountain, guys. Um, everybody out there, you're gonna wanna get your Jaws jar. This would have even been fun at Graves Mountain because I could have put my uh, my crystals in here that I found there that I wanted to keep safe. This is great for every rock hound, every fossil hunter all over the place guys so hit up jaws jars on facebook and 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 order some today uh so yeah that that's that's the end of our advertisement for jaws jar but thanks a lot everybody i, I want to thank jaws jar for helping out and giving me a great discount on those jaws jars so i could help people out and share their product and share their message and stuff like that so um thank you so much jaws jar and uh check out love and stone creations on uh instagram and facebook guys uh, Instagram and Facebook at Love in Stone Creations. Uh, and, you know, loveinstonecreations.com. We got the gallery on there. Got a couple cool things going. Um, so, yeah, and stay tuned because we've got a lot of really, really, really cool stuff in the works. Spoiler alert, we've got some stuff going on that involves some calcite clams. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, that one place down in Okeechobee. I'm talking about a different place entirely, something brand new. We're going to build something. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun. That's that's what I'm dreaming of these days. So stay tuned for more information on that. Um, thank you so much for liking and subscribing, sharing this video to show your friends, guys. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm really close. Um, another 188 watch hours, something like that. And I'll be able to start monetizing my channel, which will be really cool. So thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video because you who are watching all the way to the end, you're the people that are really helping out my channel by getting those watch hours down for me on YouTube. Um, so because I, I don't get paid for any of this stuff um, as, as far as uh, from YouTube. So I, the video making is all just on me and, and just having a lot of fun, you know what I mean? So um, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. You're great. Um, so yeah, make sure to watch that other video with Paleo Discoveries where I found this awesome Megalodon shark tooth. And check out some of my other videos, guys. I'm almost at 100 videos. This might be my 100th video. I need to find, I need to count it before I figure this out. But I'm all excited because that's that's a pretty good milestone for me. Um, and, and by the end of the year, I want to have 1,000 subscribers, guys. So thank you so much for helping me with all of that. So 
Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to follow your dreams, buy American Minerals wherever possible, and, and support your local miners and mines. And, and we'll see you next time.